For those new to the channel, I am Stockmo, an old financial advisor and educator. Now I do this YouTube thing. All I ever ask, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We got some good stuff for you. And boy, am I pulling the trigger today. I think I'm going to be buying approximately $50,000 worth of a stock. And I'm going to share it with the YouTube world as well as my Patreon world all on here in this one video and let you know that some big things are going to happen. Now, I'm probably most likely going to be doing that sometime this week maybe even today i'm excited about it and i feel really good about the potential now i'm going to discuss this a little bit later of course keep you on the edge there and we'll get into it but before we do like i said hit the like hit the subscribe down below take advantage of the neo share one free ne uh, share of neo for depositing a hundred dollars or more and a free share of xpong you only got to put a buck in to get the neo share so it's a good deal of course we got the gemini link twenty dollars in free bitcoin for trading $100 or more using the link, and they got Sandbox over there. You cannot buy Sandbox at Webull, Robinhood, or Coinbase. Once you once they add it on, I think it's going to go through the roof. So you can take a look at that as well. It has been rolling up nicely. Now we're going to take a look at the overall portfolios here when it comes to the YouTube. I'm going to be buying a lot of these today. Of course, you know I'm doing my weekly buys. I'll come back and this afternoon's video, we'll discuss what I bought, what I added on, how the, how the market's doing. Right now in the pre-market, at least when I'm making this video, we're seeing some red. I'm waiting to see uh, a lot of things throughout this week, but my goal is to see the week up. You know, from Monday to Friday, are we up money? Now, with that being said, let's take a look at VOO. This is the chart. I'm gonna to add to this today, but just to give you a benchmark of what we're looking at, 2.64. We'll see how we make out as the day goes on. And of course, 2.42 for the YouTube conservative. I'm still figuring out what stock I wanna to add to this one as well. Like I said, hit the like and subscribe because I will release that at, uh, I'd say around four o'clock today. And then of course, down 2.88, I'm gonna pick another aggressive stock. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go into this and we'll see which one I add on. And of course the YouTube uh, is now up big time. This thing is rolling up. I feel like I made the right decision going with Ethereum and sticking with Ethereum. And you can see Ethereum continuing to roll higher. So very happy with that right now. It is up 14.79%. And I do see a continuation of this run happening. Now, if you would like to see my overall portfolios and everything else, what I'm buying and selling, I got the Patreon link down below. Come on over. I got my portfolios. The overall portfolio is up about 170 something thousand now in profit. And of course, we do have the uh, private Discord where lots of, uh, of people over there are going to help you out. So it's a great place to go. Now, let's take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin's the big news. Right now, as you can see in this chart, just uh, over the last five days, it's up almost 10%, 9.71%. It keeps going higher. People are wondering, you know, what's going on? And we can compare this to Ethereum. Ethereum up over the last five days, 8.6%. Both of them kind of looking very similar in the charts if you look at them. Uh, with Bitcoin sneaking in there a little bit for good reason, we can see this. Russia is considering selling its oil and gas for Bitcoin as sanctions and intensify from the West. If they decide to go that route, and I've been waiting for this, I've been waiting for all this, you know, you can't use this currency, that currency. Well, Bitcoin could all of a sudden be the world's currency. And this is going to be something very interesting because we already know it's legal tender uh, down in El Salvador. And so we're going to be watching a lot of things as we move forward. So if Bitcoin becomes the way the world does business and you see Bitcoin's transactions picking up, do not think for a minute that Ethereum will not be right in there with them. It'll be Bitcoin, Ethereum, different transactions. I think they both kind of lead that way. Of course, right now they're talking about Bitcoin and we'll see where it goes. I like what we're seeing uh, and we'll find out. And then with the oil, the nice thing I'm seeing right now to begin the week is we're seeing oil dropping a little bit. And so we'll find out if that can continue. And of course, Chinese US regulators are working hard on solution to audit dispute Chinese state media. So the state media, for China is coming out and discussing that they are working very closely and making sure they can kind of move forward in this. And so we'll say uh, uh, right here, what do we got down here? Both Chinese and US regulators are fully aware of each other's concerns and are moving towards each other and working hard to find solutions to the issue in order to achieve effective and sustained 
uh, sustainable cooperation as soon as possible. The source was cited as saying, this is in the best interest of the capital markets of both countries and global investors. You don't see positive comments like this coming out of China too often when it comes to the US working with China. And we're starting to see it. And I've been saying this, I think the worst of the worst has been priced in, and I don't think we're gonna see that kind of stuff. The, de the mass delistings that everybody's waiting for. Obviously, they don't wanna see it, and that's why they're starting to say positive statements like this. And of course, I don't think the US wants to go down that road either. I think right now, what they wanna do is actually meet, get, get what needs to be done, make sure the investors are safe, and we can move forward. And I think both countries would like to see that, and that's why you're starting to see positive comments coming out of China regarding that issue. So with in my opinion, I believe they will find a satisfactory solution to this, thus helping a lot of these Chinese stocks that have been pushed down by these delisting fears and then could ramp right back up. And a lot of them could be trading multiples from where they are now, but that fear is there. You saw what happened to Didi, you saw what happened to Alibaba, Neo, Xpeng, a lot of them got crushed. And with that being said, that fear is not gone. And we're gonna talk about uh, something here real quick, but pre-markets, at least when I'm making this video, all down about a quarter of a percent. We'll see how that goes. This is gonna be a wild day. I expect to see volatility, the spread between high and low, uh, more, more than a quarter of a point. I expect to see at least a 1% spread, which means between the high and low of today in the market, I expect to see at least a 1% change. And that's a lot of volatility. You know, I remember the days where we could go 100 trading days and not have that big of a spread. And now it's like every single day we got volatility. And then we move into the bonds. I'm watching the bonds this week. Right now we have 19 basis points between the two and the 10 year. I'm still watching it. And a lot of people ask me, do you think we're gonna have a recession? I will tell you, I personally do not at this particular moment. But if this starts flashing warning signs, starts to go inverse, and then we start to see the three month creeping up on a 10 month or the 10 year, then my answer can change very quickly. Right now, uh, some experts are calling for a coin flip, you know, getting closer to that 50% chance. I personally do think that the U.S. economy is strong enough to get through this, and we'll see better days here, hopefully, in the next few months from a geopolitical standpoint with the whole world. A lot of bad stuff going on. It ain't COVID, it's war. Uh, geopolitical uh, political issues. It's just a lot of stuff. Uh, the crude, like I said, is down a little bit right now. We'll keep an eye on this. I'd like to see this get back under $100. I thought it would top out between 125, 120, 130 range. I didn't think it was gonna go much higher than that if we even hit that with a WTI crude. And now we're seeing it come back down. So hopefully it got up close and now we're gonna start to see it go the other direction. That's what I think's gonna happen. Everybody talks about the worst case scenarios out there. Oh, oil is gonna go up to $500 a barrel, $300 dollars a barrel, two hundred dollars a barrel. You know what? That draws the that draws the eyes to people reading that stuff. They want to hear it. They want to watch it. They like you know the fear makes people watch and buy their articles more. Realistically speaking, what's more probable? Oil, you know, the companies that are manufacturing or pulling it out of the ground are gonna probably pick it up. This thing is rolling up. They can make bank on this and they're gonna up that supply a little bit, take advantage of these prices and do what they need to do, in my opinion. Eventually, we've been through this before. We get these prices up. Everybody starts pumping more oil out because they wanna take advantage of these prices, lock them in. And then all of a sudden you see the price of oil starting to drop and then it craters back down to $50 a barrel, which I think we will see again eventually down the road. It might take a year or two, but we will get there. Now, before we get into all the good stuff, what stock I'm gonna be loading up on, I'm gonna ask you this. Do you think that NEO will hit 30 before it hits 15? So do you believe NEO will drop back down to 15 or will it hit 30 first? And that's, a, that's one of the questions I'm, I've been asking, as well as this one. Do you think Ethereum drops below 3,000 before it hits 4,000? And that's another question. So what's your take on either or? You can do both. I'm just curious, do you think Bitcoin goes to, or uh, Neo hits 15 before it goes to 30? And do you think Ethereum, which is around 3,200, 3,300, is going to hit down in the 2000s again before it hits 4,000. My opinion is I'm bullish on both. I think both will hit the higher ends first, but I am curious to what the public thinks. So I made up my mind and I'm going to be loading into NEO and I had a choice. I could go Tesla, I could go Lucid, SoFi, DraftKings. 
and I could have diversified between them all. So I made up my mind that I'm going to be taking a big chance here and I'm going to load up on NEO. I'm going to take out at least $50,000 on the sideline and I'm putting in the NEO into my into my existing position. This will easily make it my largest position in the uh, portfolio, and I am going to run with this. And I do believe that the downside will be limited. We saw $13 in something, so even at this point, if it did drop down there, you could see about a 33% loss, and that could cost me a lot of money. And obviously, 33%, you're looking at $16,000, $17,000 in additional losses on top of my already huge stake. So I'm going to be throwing in $50,000 in the NEO. I'm going to show you how much I feel like this company is going to explode. And I just wanted to announce it to everybody, let everybody know. I'm going to be showing that purchase over at the Patreon. I always do a transaction screenshot so people can watch and see it and they can uh, verify that. So I'm going to be loading up on NEO. I made up my mind on that and I'm ready for the risk. I think this stock has a really big uh, opportunity moving forward. Think about this, and they got this right here. We talked about this. Rumors of NEO partnering with BYD are resurfacing. That's the Buffett-backed company, and we know uh, we know that that company is really ramping up. We've seen the the leaders of both companies work, talking together. I think they were over at NEO Park as well. There's a chance that that could happen, and that's just the icing on the cake because I they don't need that, but it definitely would give them a different revenue routes to go as well as what they're doing now and that's the expectation i've been saying this for a long time i expect neo to absolutely explode moving forward one they got the government backing two you're seeing them working with byd closely in terms of meeting up and stuff we'll see if that comes out they're very secretive about these things but i would expect if that announcement comes out i would expect to see neo have a 5 10 15 percent up day i think it would be a big day double digit and we'll find out and so it's some risk. I'm going to be, I'm taking some risk right now. And that's something I usually tell people not to do is to take that kind of risk, putting that much money into one stock and not just diversifying it through or buying the S&P 500 index. I'm going to take a chance. And I made up my mind. It was going to be high risk with this, this money. It was either going to be something leveraged or it was going to be going into uh, one particular stock that I thought could outperform. And I do believe this can outperform. So if we take a look over here at tip ranks, got a link down below, take advantage of it. You can see right now that they have 159% upside potential. You know my thought on this, this thing should be already trading up there now if it was a US company, but because of the issues, we do not see that. You know, COVID over there is pretty bad. They do a lot of lockdowns, they're very strict. We know the US and China are button heads as well, but they are trying to work through that. I think all of these the, both of these things will clear up as we go forward through the next few weeks slash two or three months and then you'll see a good positive run for some of these stocks so i'm, I'm going to be going into it now this i should say this and qualify it this is not this additional money is not i'm holding it until 2025 this is something that at the end of the year I would be willing, if it continues to crash down, to take a tax loss on this. And, or if this stock doubles up, I would do what I did with Tesla and Lucid and take some profit. And obviously that's what I think is gonna happen, is that we're gonna get to the point that NEO runs up to $30, $40 a share, doubles from where it's at. I can take out my original investments then and just let the rest go and let it go for years and years and years. And I'm gonna have a huge stake in there because I wanna get that original money out and then just let the let it go and then diversify the right way. And that's kind of, I'm kind of taking some risk on this. So that's the plan here. So I'll share a little bit more of this most likely in today's video later tonight or tomorrow. Sometime this week, I'm going to be pulling the trigger on that. Could be today. I want to see how the markets are doing and what's happening with that. So that's the big update there. So if you haven't done it, like I said, hit the Patreon link. You can come over and see. I always let her, I give them notifications when I do these things and you can see the overall portfolio and join the private Discord, thousands of members. That link's down there. And then of course, the Gemini link, $20 in free Bitcoin for trading $100 or more. Take advantage of this. And of course, the Neo, uh, the Moomoo Moo link down there, you get a free share of NEO right now for depositing a dollar or more. Uh, put a hundred or more in there, you get an XPUNK share, very good deal. And then on top of that, you know, we're gonna, uh, they have some other free stock opportunities as well. I appreciate you stopping by. Now let's get out there and make some money.